This is the brand new Look 785 Uez RS bike, which fills a void that they have had in their range for a little while. Between the 765, which is their enduro bike, and the 795, which is the aerodynamic bike, which they have had out for quite some time. So this bike has been a long time in the development. It's being used here at the Tour de France by Elia Gesbert. And the inspiration for the name came from Greg LeMond, who in 1986 became the first rider to win the Tour de France on a carbon fiber bike. Now, Look obviously did an incredible amount of research as they were designing their new lightweight bike, and they used what they have called optimized inertia section. So what they decided was to get the optimal uh, ratio between stiffness and comfort, i.e. compliance, and also lightweight, that they would go for a combination of both round and square shaped tubing. And it is done with nano layers, which are apparently just one hundredth of a millimeter thick. And at our points on this frame, I think just here on the top tube, where the thickness of the carbon is just 0.6 millimeters, which really is quite incredible when you think about it. The results, well, this frame is 730 grams. There are lighter frames out there, but that is certainly very respectable indeed, whilst the fork comes in at 280 grams. And in fact, the off the peg top of the range bike, which comes in at just under 1,000, 10,000 euros to say, not that cheap, uh, is just 5.9 kilograms. That's with a full SRAM ETAP group set and Coroma's MCSS Plus wheels. They've got some slightly heavier, but more aero wheels on this bike, because of course, all the riders here at the Tour de France have to meet the UCI's minimum weight criteria, which is 6.8 kilograms. However, despite the extra weight of the wheels and the extra weight of these pedals, which are look power pedals, uh, they've still got a bike which comes in underneath that 6.8 kilogram mark. So here in the seat post, they have put, had to put an extra 400 grams of weights in. Look, as you can see, also provide quite a lot of the finishing kit. So along with their power pedals, uh, they're also providing the seat post here, which is carbon, uh, as you might expect, and also the aero handlebars there at the front, which are measuring about 44 centimeters from edge to edge down there on the drops. Uh, they've also, though, provided the crank set. So that is a slight deviation away from the full SRAM Red ETAP group set. Uh, what's interesting here are these extra bolt holes. Uh, so that allows riders to mount the standard 53 by 39 tooth chain rings, which are traditional for pro riders. But if you so wish, you can also swap out for a more compact chain set design, i.e. 50 by 34. Richie, though, provide the stem. As you can see, it's fully slammed, like most pros these days. Uh, that's 130 millimeters in length. It doesn't actually say the angle, but looking at it, I'm guessing that is at least a negative 17 degree. Look, also provide the bar tape, which you can see up there on the bars. Uh, Salitalia are the saddle sponsors for the Fortunaire team, and this is their team edition SLR on this particular bike. Uh, the tires are not something I see that often in the pro ranks. They are Challenge, and it's their Strada model. Uh, they look quite Quite narrow. They are in fact 25s. I think I've just got used to seeing very wide tyres on my bike to these days. Uh, one interesting thing down here, that is an 11 up to 32 tooth cassette. We are filming this on the first rest day of the Tour de France this year, so they've just come out of some very steep mountains yesterday. Uh, that was enough to see him getting up the climbs on a standard 39 tooth front chainring. Now, I have been doing some measuring of the bike before we started this video. So along with the 170 millimeter cranks, he is running a saddle height of almost exactly 75 centimeters uh, from the center here down to the center of the cranks, whilst the reach from the tip of the saddle there to the center of the bars is 56 centimeters. But what I haven't done yet is weighed it. Is it actually 6.8 kilograms? Let's have a look. Six point nine although my scales might be slightly out, but that is certainly a very light bike indeed. And as I mentioned, uh, even lighter than the Pros one is the one that you can buy off the peg. Uh, right, well, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up just down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the Global Cycling Network, you can do so now by clicking on the globe. Now, recently, Matt and I had a look into how much difference motos make in races. How much power do you save by drafting at 10 meters behind a moto at 43 kilometers? Proud. The results were very interesting indeed. You can find them by clicking just down here. Or if you'd like to see the best and coolest things about team trucks, which are full of the latest bikes and the latest technology, you can click just down here.